Hello everyone and welcome to round 9 of the ARL F1 2012 Season 6. It's the German Grand Prix. I'm Matthew Gallagher and joining me to commentate on the Hockenheim Ring Circuit is Scott Woodwiss once again. Hi there Matthew, hi there everybody. Great to be back here with the ARL Racing League. Uh, had a great time for Silverstone and I think the Hockenheim Ring Race promises to be something special. It's an awesome track in the shadow of its former self but uh, hopefully we'll get a great race today. Yeah, promises to be a good one, Scott. And the Season 5 podium was Tirano Tigger taking the victory from the favoured Noble 2909 in second place and ACR Raven coming home in a solid third place. Noble took the Season 5 pole position with a 13.1. Will he be able to convert it to a victory this season? For this week's qualifying comparison at the Hockenheim Ring, we have x G in the Torosa on the left and Fisivan and one on the right in the Marussia. Both drivers carrying great speed through turn 1 without cutting or extending the track, something that is very easy to do at that corner. Breaking now for turn 2 around the 100m board, with both drivers hitting the apex beautifully. As we cross the first sector split, Matt is already a tiny bit ahead of the Marussia and both drivers using about two thirds of the curves heading onto this massive straight where the powerful Jairus could certainly play a large role during the race. Coming towards the braking zone now and it's crucial to break at the right point just before the 100m board to slow the car down for the hairpin. As you can see both drivers hitting the apex nicely with Matty still slightly ahead. Now getting on the power as early as possible without spinning up the wheels and both drivers using the rest of the curves as we head through this flat out right hander of turn 7. Now into another difficult braking zone for turn 8, Matty taking quite a bit of the inside curve but still manages to keep good speed through there. Flat out now onto this straight coming towards the second sector split with Matty around 2 tenths up on Fissi at this point. Downshifting into 5th gear for this brilliant corner going into the stadium section of the track. Gotta make sure you don't run too wide there as then you'll stick a tire in the gravel. Both drivers shifting now to 2nd gear for this long left hander and now DRS is wide open going through this twisty section towards the end of the lap. A couple of downshifts again to get the car turned into these final two corners, both drivers hitting the apexes very nicely indeed. Heading on to the final straight, with Matty taking third position on the grid with 113.604, two and a half tenths ahead of Fizzy who takes fourth. Thanks for that qualifying comparison. Now let's check out how they'll line up here for this afternoon's race at the Hockenheim Ring. On the pole position is TRL Limitless for Sauber Ferrari. Alongside him in the Williams Renault is Big Shot player, the Greek driver. As we just saw in that comparison, x G took third fastest ahead of Fizzy Fan in fourth. The top three separated by just 78 thousandths of a second. The Continent starts on row three in fifth. Alongside him starting on the prime tyres is Noble 2909, the championship leader. So he's going to have a real struggle from the third row. Row 4 sees so F1X Rookie 22 in the Sauber and Ricky C down in 8, so usually off the pace that he normally is in that cage room. In row 5 it's Trace B92 in the McLaren and Richie's teammate LC Speed Demon in the cage room. On row 6 it's Randy McScrandy in the second McLaren and Ryan L83 in the second Marussia. And then at the back of the grid on row 7 it's IPRX Callum in the sole Force India Mercedes. Maisie CZ, ACR Jordan and Beth Headnet all due to take part here, but unfortunately again they will not start. It's race time. The weather's clear, there's not a raindrop in the sky. It's x Maddy G and Rapid Scorpion commentating once again. And this promises to be one hell of a race, Scott. It certainly does. We've got Noble to 909 starting on the prime tyres on row three. So he's going to have to try and fight his way through. We've got 13 cars ready for 34 laps of the Hockenheim ring. Let's get ready for the lights. Let's get ready indeed. We have the lights coming on now. It's going to be so interesting to see how Noble copes in sixth place on the primes. Fizzy fan in fourth, a great qualifying, and away we go. He's now just keeping fourth place pretty well indeed. There doesn't seem to be making any ground on the cars ahead. Limitless into the first corner, maintaining first position. Noble still in sixth place and not made any positions up just yet, but he may well have a look down the straight. But he's going to want to make up as many places as possible, considering he had a disappointing qualifying despite being on the primes. And now coming out of turn two, he's now got the curves going and he's going to maybe look up Fizzy. No, he stopped using some of his curves coming towards the hairpin, Scott. He has. We've got 13 cars charging down towards the hairpin. It's some 200 miles an hour under the brakes. Looking at Fizzy Fanners. Costis locks up, hits Maddie G and Continents and Big Shot have both gone straight on. That's helped cars such as Crookie and Noble get through. So Crookie's now up to fifth place as they head through. So that was a really big mistake there from Constance. Just hit the brake pedal a little too hard and that caused a bit of a crescendo effect. And that unfortunately has lost out for the Ferrari and also Big Shot. Started on the front row, but he's way down the field and that's an absolute disaster. 
Yeah, it's really disappointing for Continents, who had a really good qualifying fifth place, but it's, it's benefited the likes of Noble, who is up into fourth place in the prime tyre, running a little bit wide, maybe almost catching a bit of gravel, but he's managed to keep fourth place well, as TRL Limless looks like he's built a little bit of a gap after that... Uh, after that collision as Rhino 83 disconnects once again this guy does not have any luck whatsoever with his internet connection and unfortunately he's had to leave again yeah that's the third time he's done that in a row as Cookie went wide through the final two corners but as they come across the line for the first time then it is Limitless who has the lead by just almost a second and Matty G himself has almost a second gap on Fizzy Fan in third place here's the replays there from the start this is on board with Crookie so straight into Rich Mix 3 Noble covers him off in sick and coming up towards the inside here and sees that Crookie held the inside line but just couldn't pull up alongside. This is the view from Fizzy Fan around the outside of turns three and four and held it and you see that there's Noble just behind. This is the view from Matty and there's the contact, hits big shot, sends him off in, onto the barriers on the left and then this is Fizzy Fan's view of it as we saw and there he is again. That was a bit opportunistic from the contest, just couldn't get it stopped in time, could he Matty? No, not with all the 34 laps of fuel in this car. He just braked too late and then he was a goner. He knew that he was going to be hitting x G. And to be fair, for x G, it didn't work out too badly for him. I mean, he's hit big shot, but through no fault of his own. He's up into second, although he is losing a little bit of a gap to... Oh, uh, Limitless is making a little bit of a gap to x G, and it's 1.3 seconds now. So he's out of DRS range already. So that could be crucial if uh, x G can't get into DRS. So the Sauber's running strong at the moment so far. Tyrell has the, has the lead right now. Of course, Crookie's holding fifth. As we're watching here, him chase after Noble 2909. Doing very well on these prime tyres to get them up to temperature and hang with the option tyre runners. Rumble with Fizzy Fan, the man which Noble is chasing as he heads through turn one at 118.1. Decent lap time for Fizzy Fan, but it's Limitless who trumps that with a 17.8 looks to me as he heads through turns three and four onto this long straight it's a curving long straight they call it the parabolica it's a very long straight that curves around to the left before the hairpin as we said you approach it at some 200 miles an hour click down to just about 40 or 50 so the amount of g-force if they were experiencing any is absolutely major but here comes global has got curves and a little bit of drs huge lock up for fizzy fan into the hairpin but i think noble might have a chance down towards the next couple of corners matty yeah, I think it's crucial for Noble to stay within the DRS zone, if he can, of his teammate x -G, just down the road. But he's got to dispose of uh, Fizzy Fan at the moment. But Fizzy, he has shown excellent pace in that Marussia. I mean, he is on the option tyre, so he has got an advantage over Noble. So you would like to think he could hold his own against the uh, championship leader. And he's not given up, that's for sure. I mean, he's still ahead of him after the DRS zone. So I think the DRS is really powerful around this track, to be fair, though, Scott. I think Noble may well dispose of Fizzy in the next lap and then potentially to try and uh, catch his teammate and Limitless despite being on the slower tyre. Well, quite possibly. Uh, you said about the DRS then, of course, it's a long run down towards the hairpins. Of course, there's, it's a perfect opportunity to gain advantage with DRS. Um, what's the point out, Ricky sees them pretty well. He's up to fifth place. So usually he likes to haul that cage from up somewhere around the top five. But he's managed to capitalise on the first corner uh, ruckus, shall we say, to um, get himself up towards the, the top five and try and challenge these guys here as Noble continues his pursuit of the Marusha in front. He hasn't got DRS. In fact, he has, sorry. So he's using a little bit more curves in the slipstream now of DRS. And Fizzy Fan's getting defensive again. But look at that. Just pretty easy to draft past Fizzy Fan. And there's the view now for Marusha now looking at the back end of that Toro Rosso. And he's got a little bit of curves which he'll use on the exit. But Noble's got more of that. And he's held on to third place. A so good move there as we now switch to Matty who's now closed in on the limitless. He locked up a little bit. So Matty just trying to start and find some pace in his early laps here on the, on the option tyre. Yeah, he lost uh, a bit of a gap to a Limitless at the start of the race, but he's managed to haul him back in using rich fuel mixture, and he's now well within DRS, and so he should now be able to sit with Limitless and then make his move whenever he wants. I mean, it is, it's key to stay within DRS. I mean, Noble's two seconds back now, so he's going to be a little bit disappointed that he's not closer to the front runners because you can sit within DRS and gain nine tenths on the car ahead if they don't have DRS, of course. And it's a ridiculous amount of time you can gain as x G sets the fastest up of a 17.6. And, uh, you know, as you, as I say, I mean, that that's probably DRS assisted. Otherwise, someone else may have got it. Now we're back with Fizzy Fan as Noble trumps that with a 17.5. So you can see exactly that's how much pace Noble has on those prime tyres. He's obviously put it onto rich fuel mixture. As now with, with, with x G, he has DRS now. And he's just in the toe of Tio Limitless, getting closer. He's still got half his curves left. Switches to the inside. Limitless leaves the door wide open, expecting to try and get the switch back. But Matty's parked it right on the apex. And he's done it. It's a great move there from Matty G into Rich Fuel, mix, rich fuel Mixture. And he takes the lead. 
Yeah, he, I think he, stayed, he, he cleverly saved half his curves to try and get a good exit out of that hairpin. And he's managed to keep first place from Limitless. These two are going to have a great ding-dong, it looks like, for the rest of the race, unless someone makes a mistake. As uh, we've got now have a replay of Fizzy Fan going back past the championship leader. That's what I was saying about the DRS, Scott. Fizzy steams past Noble, despite probably not having the same pace as Noble. And Noble actually looks like he switched back on him and uh, taken back third place. Well, Fizzy Fan locked up hugely into that hairpin, so uh, that was pretty much easy picking for Noble to retake that place. The Fizzy Fans, that won't be the end of it. He'll come back at him again. If he stays close, as you said, this we talk about it all race long, this how crucial it is to stay in that one second zone for DRS. As Matty goes a little wide through turn one. That's put Limus right on his gearbox. To head down towards turn two. And I have a feeling this battle could go on all race long because these two are pretty in close proximity to each other already. We've had six laps and no one's been able to find a gap yet as Matty goes into Rich Fuel mix, Mixture 3 and Busy Fan has DRS now I'm pretty, pretty sure as does TRL Limitless to the inside and look at that, how easy was that and here comes Busy Fan as well up the inside again so it's pretty much a carbon copy of what we just saw and this time Busy Fan's learnt his lesson because he's now managed to hold on to third place yeah, it's great to see from Fizzy. I mean, he hasn't had the greatest of results this season. Uh, I mean, when he changed his camera angle to the Cockburn T cam, sorry, he uh, became a, little, a lot faster and he showed his pace around Bahrain and he's still showing it here now. He's fighting in third place. He's he's definitely, you know, he's, he's not exactly, there's not many people. I think there's the top four and then there's a gap back to fifth place. Actually, no, Ricky sees in fifth, so I think it might be sixth. Uh, Ricky's actually holding on quite well to Noble as well. So. These three could be having a nice ding-dong battle to, for the last podium position. Although Noble on the prime tyre, you can only imagine what his pace is going to be like on the options. So I think X Money G and Limitless are going to try. We're going to have to not try, try and not lose as much time as. Oh my God! Let's try and get my words out, Scott. Limitless and X Money G will not want to lose much time because Noble is on the slower tyre and he is going to be quick by the end of the race. Absolutely, very good point because of course these guys they start with full tanks of fuel and obviously then go towards the end of the race they'll burn that off in various stages depending on what fuel mixture they run so of course these guys are fuel mixed mixture three they'll be burning it out which means these guys are probably going to be running on fumes by the end of the race as noble goes back on fizzy fan and that is now going to be for third place again so noble is made it a one two one three sorry for the toro rossos and ricky's actually closing in under braking so ricky's actually coming with them and he actually he's actually bringing a few cars with him because you can see there's about a gaggle of about four cars behind ricky so not too bad that gap and I think also looking at it I think TRL has got back past uh, Matty in the process because I think I could just see that's a Toro Rosso in second place so that might be an overtake we missed but it looks like Limitless is back in the lead of the Grand Prix yeah I think we're pretty sure where that overtake happened on the straight with DRS but I think the DRS is, is is activated too early on the straight to be honest it should be probably halfway down the straight and then it would probably get them alongside into the hairpin but instead especially with all the drivers running uh, gear, uh, gears all the way to the right so all of their sort of clicks on the gearbox all the way to the right from gear one to gear seven um, you know they're topping out at 201 miles an hour and the people without DRS are probably hitting 180 on the straights so that's a 20 mile an hour difference it's it's, it's ridiculous and I th I think X-Man G is probably going to get alongside Limitless despite being six tenths behind him let's see how close he gets by the end of the straight What's also interesting is that these guys, who we said, they're using uh, their rich fuel mixture quite a lot in these early stages. So these guys have to really manage it towards the end, but I'm pretty sure they're going to try and run as hard and fast as possible. And uh, that move didn't work out for X-Man He tried to go to the outside, but Limitless beautifully covered the inside line, and he holds on to the lead for now. But Matty will try and come back at them again in towards turn seven here. Limitless goes a little wide, but takes the racing line. It's about to run through from Matty. And oh, a little slide from Limitless, and that's given Matty the perfect opportunity to sweep through straight into Fuel Mix 3. He pounced on that opportunity, and that was perfect. So Matty G back into the lead here at Hockenheim. What's interesting now is that Limitless and X-Man G, who are fighting and making mistakes, Noble is now within DRS as Crookie runs into the gravel. But more importantly, Noble is within DRS now of the option runners ahead of him. Although the primes are probably going to be working a little bit better than the, the wearing options at the moment. As you can see, look, he is right on the back of Limitless. So this is Noble's chance to really impact on the option runners ahead. Look at the, look at the comparison of lap times there. You saw Noble did a 17.9 compared to Fizzy Fan's 18.0. So what's amazing is that even though he's on these prime tyres, Noble can run at the same pace as these option guys. That's absolutely incredible because, of course, this tyre will last him quite a lot longer than of course than these option tyres 
which means that these guys would have probably worked, burnt them up in these first eight or nine laps or so. He's on standard mix two. He's got that DRS now. Is it going to be a Toro Rosso 1 2 by the time we exit the hairpin? Probably not. As we look at Fizzy Fan's view, he closes right up and goes a little too deep into that hairpin, but holds the exit nicely. And Noble stayed with him down to Lee Mix 1 this time. So he's probably trying to conserve some fuel in these early stages. He's not going to stop him anymore. Goes to standard mix two. Huge lock up for Limitless. That's just how much pressure he's on as Noble checks his brake balance and just continues to apply the pressure. Looks the Limitless is absorbing it well, but he's in a Toro Rosso sandwich right now. Yeah, that was interesting that Noble t put his uh, engine mix down to lean despite having a run on the Sauber driver. I think what x G would have wanted there is Noble getting past the Sauber so then x G could try and build a gap on his option tyres because at the moment Limitless is just sitting within DRS and well and truly keeping with him. I'm not too sure who that was. Did you see who that was disconnected or crashed out, Scott? Uh, not not quite. Um, it might have been, I think, possibly one of the caterers. I think it might have been Speed Demon, I think. Not 100%. Yeah, I'm just getting some information coming through. Let's have a look here. It was, it was Speed LC Demon. Speed Demon. Yeah, so LC Speed Demon out of the race, unfortunately for him. Um, and he was actually looking quite good in the social race earlier this week. So, just, you know, despite his pace, he hasn't managed to finish the race. And Limitless going up the inside now of X Money G. And Noble having a look as well at his teammate. But Limitless has run a little bit wide there. So, that's a, well, was that a similar to move for what Vettel did to uh, Jensen Button uh, Hockenheim last year? Quite possibly, but uh, we're just watching here. You saw that Matty had a bit more curves on the exits that landed alongside. Oh, and that was a huge slide. Noble shot look at his nose up the inside. May have been slight better contact between the two Toro Rosso's. Now this puts Fizzy Fan back into the mix. He just drives clean around the outside of Noble, but is he going to give it up? No, he's not. Comes straight back at him into the stadium section. So these four are already starting to break away. I think Ricky sees just about hanging on to them with, I think it's, I think it's Randy McScrandy in the McLaren. He's just at the fastest lap of the race a moment ago. Uh, tagging line six. And this is now Crookie getting back past Randy because he passed him a lap ago. We saw a replay whilst we were talking about um, the, the fuel mixtures and with Noble trying to make some time up uh, earlier on. So that's battles due to go on for quite a while, but still back with Noble. And again, Matty will be in DRS though, despite the fact he's a little way back. He'll have a bit of curves as well. And Noble's got DRS too. So let's wait and see as they come down towards the hairpin. Matty's not really closing as much as, as, as he usually does. Um, but he is now, well that, that's Crookie we're looking at, as Randy now, again going back, back past him. I think he's probably given the story of the race, but just because he passes all day long down this parabolic and towards the hairpin. Yeah, it's true, as you know, as we've said, and old Crookie losing the back end, coming out of the hairpin. He, he looked like he clipped the curve a little bit too hard, got on the power too early, and then the back end just spun round. And no, x Energy is still behind the Sauber of TRL Limitless and Noble following in very close proximity on th in third on the front tyre. Fizzy Fan still well and truly in this fight. He could be thinking, right, well, you know, these three are only just ahead and that is first place. I don't think he expected to be fighting for P1 this this week at least. But um, Ricky C, I'm pretty sure he will be saving as much fuel as possible. He loves to save fuel as Limitless comes into the pits and pits before the two Toro Rossos. Obviously, <laughs> Noble, who's on the primes but x g is deciding to stay out there scott and also the second Sauber coming in looks like Sauber will stack their cars in the pits straight to the mix one for crookie then and he's going on to those prime tires and getting rid of those worn options just see limitless has exited out there so that's a pretty clean stop for the Sauber boys and once again it's another one 2.9 good stop there for Sauber to get crookie back out there again gone back to fuel mix three straight away out the pits he rejoins back in 10th place just ahead of big shot so he's still recovering off that first lap incident as we're back on board with Fizzy Fan, he's now in third place. The two Toro Rossos going into combat now in front of him. So uh, try to keep it steady, boys. Don't want to take each other out. The one person you do not want to hit on the racetrack is your teammate. And I'm pretty sure both these guys know that full well. So down towards the Mercedes corner, but in front of the big Mercedes grandstand. And Matty just holding on for the moment, but I'm pretty sure on those option tyres that uh, he'll want to try and get through. Because Limitless, I'm pretty sure, pitted first to try and get an undercut on Matty, of course. They both ran the option tyres in the early stages. Matty goes a little wide coming to the stadium section. So we'll see. I'm pretty sure we might see Matty coming in. If not, he might try and extend it out for a little longer. 
Yeah, I think Noble decided not to overtake X Money G on that straight. It looked like he turned his DRS off, so he did not want to overtake his teammate. As X Money G does dive into the pits with Fizzy Fan right behind him. I think X Money G will be looking back and thinking, wow, Fizzy Fan, what a beast. But Fizzy is well and truly looking good to get a solid result here today. And um, as I was saying with Ricky, I think he'll be saving as much fuel as possible. I'm not sure if he's coming to the pits as well or not. We haven't got a view of him, unfortunately. But um, who's that that's just come out ahead of Fizzy? That's X Money G. So. He's, he's pretty close, this Fizzy. Where's Limitless out of all of this? There he is. He's now coming round the outside of X-Money G. X-Money G breaks a bit earlier. Let's Limitless through. And I can give you a bit of inside knowledge. He actually decided to let Limitless through so then he could get the DRS. Otherwise, I think Limitless could have made a second gap on uh, X-Money G with the uh, warmer, fresh primes. So, Matty Limitless then pretty equal then for those pit stops. As Big Shot sets the fastest lap of the race from near the back of the field with a 117.4. So Noble, of course, is going to be out there for quite a while longer because he's on those much more worn. But, of course, the up-to-temperature prime tyres is now on board with Matty. These guys are pretty much... Matty's going to be stone cold. Limits is going to be uh, up-to-temperature for a lap or so. As Limits, Limits the bottom of that car sparking along the ground. It's absolutely fantastic to see that. And uh, Matty just following closely now. So pretty much even then from the pit stops. No one really gained that much of an advantage, especially Limitless. He did try and of course Matty did let him through. So Limitless, I think he was probably given a false sense of the fact that he basically, his undercut was successful. But of course he probably didn't know that uh, Matty just did that on purpose so that he could try and get the DRS. And that was pretty clever from the Toro Rosso driver there as uh, Matty closes him once again into the hairpin. Lock up for Limitless. You don't want to do that too much on these fairly fresh prime tyres, especially when you've got some 19 laps to go. So that's going to be pretty crucial towards the end of the race. Yeah, x G getting a run now on Limitless coming towards the Mercedes Grandstand. He's going up the inside, down into second gear, hits the kerb beautifully and takes net first place as Randy and Noble have not pitted ahead of him. And uh, it's just going to be overtake after overtake, I think, this afternoon. And Fizzy's still well and truly in this battle. He is staying within that DRS zone, which is crucial for his race if he wants anything better than a fourth place finish here today. And uh, Ricky, see, 4.8 seconds back now, Scott. What has gone on there? He's, he's not had a good, um, I don't know, last few laps to his stint. But uh, maybe he had a bit of an incident in the pits or coming out of the pits. But he's definitely fallen off the back of this fight for first place. And uh, it's a bit of a shame to see, but maybe he'll fight back just because he always saves a lot of fuel towards the end of the race. So we may well see him battling with these guys come towards the end. That is quite true. I think just probably it might be the case that these guys are setting such a fast pace that simply no one else can hold it. Limitless goes very wide on the exit of Turn 4. That's how hard he's pushing. And Busy Fan now has DRS down the back straight. He used up half his curse, saving it for the exit. Big Shot with another fast snap of the race. And Limitless, using that DRS straight passes, both the cars in front lock up. You can see just how hard these guys are trying to keep in front of each other. So Limitless back in front, but Matty's having none of it. Back up the inside towards Turn 6, towards the Mercedes corner, front of the big grandstand again. And Busy Fan's going to get himself into the mix as well. So Matty's back through. This is great stuff here. This is scrapping on what is effectively first, second and third. But of course, we're still going to wait for Noble to make his pit stop. He's still out, on, out there on those prime tyres. Speaking of Noble, there he is. He's in third place now, of course. Because, uh, that's, uh, that's, that's Matty G, G, sorry. G, yeah. So, damn these Toro Rossos. Anyway, <laughs> um, Matty's still in third place and he's holding on. But of course, now this means, even though he's using curves, he, Lim Limitless will have that DRS down the back straight. Let's see if he can make another pass. It's pretty going to be pretty simple for Limitless, who flies down the inside of X-Maddy G, coming towards the hairpin. I was going to say, Scott, a few laps ago, you said about the uh, the beautiful sparking of the uh, Sauber, as Limitless runs very wide indeed. I was just going to say, at least we haven't got any uh, mobile barbecues or sausages here today. Well, never say never, because apparently it's a glitch that happens pretty, pretty often, so we'll have to wait and see if that happens at all. And Limitless, um, yeah. and Matty actually was pretty deep, and Limitless back, is back through. That was a fairly... E almost gifted pass I'm pretty sure Matty didn't do it on purpose but just ran too deep and just Limitless took the opportunity and straight back into again a net first position yeah he's gonna have to, gonna have to watch their mistakes because Noble is out in front um, I think Noble's pace is around seven eight tenths slower than what these fresh prime runners are doing at the moment but if they make too many mistakes Noble could come out just one or two seconds back and smash some time to him with those options and then they're going to be in trouble because uh, Noble, who showed excellent pace on the primes, 
is no doubt going to be very quick on the options as well as x -Man Energy retain or regain sorry net first position Randy Miscrandi still out on those primes in second place just a little bit down the road so he's not having a brilliant race because he would probably like to be fighting with Noble to be honest but um, I think he's going to have to be looking around the sort of 6th, 7th place at the moment as uh, Crookie and the Sauber going around the outside of Opera is Callum into the hairpin. Is he going to uh, break him? Oh, it looks like Callum's still there just about. The arrow's there, but he's gone around the outside and made the move stick up to 7th place. F1X Crookie, brilliant move there. We haven't seen much of Force in today. Of course, Mace is not driving today. And of course, Callum's back down there in about 8th or ninth. This is Crookie now back on board with him. This is live action. Randy's just made his pit stop. And he's now on, I think is that, there must be option tyres, because if it is, he's going to have to run 14 laps in those option tyres, so he's got a hell of a task to make them last. And I think Randy's still there, as you can see, he's just alongside the arrow, pointing to exactly where that McLaren is, we using a bit of curves, there. and there goes the, the this, yeah. McLaren, and he did that, of course, as you said, yes, just to get DRS. So, pretty clever there from Randy to hold on, so he's maintained sixth position ahead of Crookie. So Crookie now is trying to make those uh, prime compound tyres working perfectly. And he'll try and hold on. And Big Shot's actually not too far behind either. So he might try and make a move at some point. Recovering after Corsa's incident earlier on. Involving uh, Matty G and the Continents. Yeah, that was interesting looking back at Crookie's car. There was smoke coming out the back of his engine. So I'm not too sure if he's got a smoking car glitch as well. But we haven't got any views behind him, unfortunately. As Noble into the pits for his fresh set of options. So he's going to have to do 13 laps on those options. I think that's about right, to be honest, Scott, because I think um, the front runners did 12, 13 laps on the options, and that is with a qualifying run and heavier fuel loads. So I think Noble will be well and truly just going for the victory here. I mean, he is quite far back, though, to be fair. I mean, I think those, those pr uh, warm primes at the end of his stint definitely did impact on his lap times. And Ricky sees actually right behind him as well. So is Ricky going to have a go? at Noble into this hairpin you know how powerful DRS is we've already seen it many times already this race and is Ricky coming he is indeed he's coming up the inside of Noble this is going to impact on Noble's race massively if he cannot dispose of Ricky soon as Ricky massively locks up into the hairpin but keeps fourth place and Noble has got a task if he wants to win this race Scott he has but looking at XPNG runs wide again at that Mercedes corner and Limitless is back through once more so that's a couple of times he's done that now in the last few laps so either Matty's struggling with that corner or he's just struggling with the pace of these prime tyres. But he's right back on the Sauber as they head into the stadium section once again. Back on board with Fizzy Fan, watching the two cars in front, waiting for a mistake from them. Because he knows one error from either of them or one collision, which puts the pair of them into, into a spot of bother. That's going to bring Fizzy Fan. And there it is. There's the Sauber barbecue. It has returned once again. We've got smoke from the back of the Lewis's car. Don't worry, that's not an engine failure. That is just a small glitch, which causes smoke to come out the back. So it looks like... Yeah, but this is uh, so happy with his leads cooking some sausages to celebrate. Oh gosh, I, I, <laughs> I jinxed it, didn't I? I can't believe it. Limitless has now, oh god, it's a smoke screen for X Money G and Fizzy Fan. I do not envy their positions one bit, but that's, um, I think X Money G will want to get past Limitless as soon as possible so he can actually see some daylight because it is not pleasant behind that Sauber. So we'll see. He's saved just under half of his curves coming towards the the hairpin and now out of the hairpin is he going to use his curves and maybe get past limitless towards the mercedes grandstand he's got a bit of a run on him maybe the smoke's helping maybe it's not i don't know but he's now going up the inside and he is taking first place once again and uh, i think fizzy will not want to sit behind that either so it would be interesting to see what fizzy does well at least matty has got a clear view now because not only was he getting blinded by the smoke but he's probably being enticed by the smell of those sausages i'm pretty sure so he's going down the back straight <laughs> that's noble going past ricky c once again, so that's obviously again showing the power of DRS, and that's that was that's crucial for Noble, of course, getting back past Ricky, because the longer he'd stay behind him, the more it would have ruined his race. His busy fan then is now his turn to be in the face for the simply sausages. And uh, yeah, what's crucial for Noble, sorry Scott, is that he now needs to make a second gap to Ricky at about half of the lap left. He has to make that gap from the hairpin to the start finish line pretty much he has to make a second on those option tyres and I don't think he's going to be able to do it as Limitless and X-Money G run very close indeed and we are now getting a face full of pork chops <laughs> absolutely and uh, down towards the, the uh, Mercedes section again and Limitless once again trailing that smoke there's Matthew you can see that the smoke's coming so far back even the Fizzy fans did get in his face but not as much because I think he's uh, in much better position than Matty is right now Skipping to lap 24 then, and still the order is the same. It's Limits leading from Matty G in second and Busy Fan still in third. The gap between Busy Fan and Noble is three and a half seconds. That's not too bad on those option tyres. So 
Noble looks as though he's actually doing what you just said he needed to do, Matty. He's actually managed to pull that gap away pretty quickly. And we'll keep an eye on that gap as they come across. Busy fans now got DRS. It's now down to 3.3 in that first sector already. So two tenths out of the Marusha already in that first sector. So Noble, with how quick he is, definitely making the most of those pro option ties to catch up to the leading trio. What is going to be crucial though, Scott, is that Noble does not have DRS going down that straight. He does not have that 201 mile an hour that Fizzy and x Money G have on Limitless as he now takes the lead once again. But so that is going to be, that's going to make him lose a lot of time. I mean, unless he's going to work with Ricky C, but it looks like he's pulled a little bit of a gap on him. So Noble is going to have to catch this top, these top three without DRS, which is one hell of a task back with that 25 then and here comes Limitless once again with the RS and down towards the hairpin and it seems to be that that smoke only is present when Limitless puts the throttle on because you saw under brakes there it disappeared and all of a sudden as soon as you got back there the smoke screen started once again so it's going to prove a distraction of course not a deliberate distraction because Limitless doesn't even know he's doing it but nonetheless Matty's soldiering on you saw the fizzy fan just getting pretty close under the braking zone there as he head towards the stadium section once again and the gap is now three tenths of a second, uh, not between all three of them, because it's three tenths of a second between first and second, and another three tenths between Matty G and Busy Fan. So we're heading into the last ten laps now, and this is going to be pretty crucial. These guys, the more they fight each other, of course, the more easy it's going to be for Noble to make up that gap. And you can see on the mini map just in the bottom left, he's getting closer and closer, not too far away from these three. So I reckon he'll be right there by the time we get into round about the last five laps. Yeah, it's going to be really interesting to see how the championship leader one point is that 1.8 seconds so he's taken one and a half seconds out of fizzy despite fizzy having drs so noble is absolutely flying and he is going to want this first position it will mean a lot to him despite after starting on primes having a difficult qualifying starting in sixth so it's going to be really interesting to see how the championship leader copes with these three leaders so i'm still really impressed with fizzy fan to be honest he is well and truly proving that he deserves to be in this league and x G locking up an absolute treat and fizzy fan is he going to get past x G? that would be crucial because i don't think fizzy has got the pace to overtake limitless without drs at least but x G keeps second place and still has that face full of smoke i think he wishes he has maybe a few more breaking points in this lap because uh that's the only time he gets a breather quite possibly um looking at what's key also look at fizzy found out on the on the right hand side look how much fuel he's got he's on optimal range for fuel at the moment he's on standard because remember these guys went pretty heavy on on the rich fuel mixture early on and they may pay the price for that later on that could play into the hands of noble because depending on how hard he's pushing his fuel load as well these guys could be running literally, on, as we said, on fumes or literally stuttering by the time we get there. Oh, as Fizzy Fan runs wide, it just kicks up the ground a little bit. And that might have cost him as uh, he goes that to rich fuel mixture. That could be crucial for Fizzy. If he's lost DRS, then he will be on the clutches of Noble. And uh, I think that'll be fourth place for Fizzy today. And Limitless running a little bit wide, so x Money G is going to fly past him, surely with DRS. And um, that's going to be an, the easiest overtake of the season. But um, he's going to save all of his curves as well, x Money G. And um, so he didn't even have to use much curves at all, and he still flies past him. But Fizzy fan, it's going to be interesting to see how... I think it's an eight tenths, actually, to um, x Money G. So Fizzy may have got DRS again, and it looks like he's kept third place into the hairpin. So that is crucial for Fizzy if he wants anything better than third place today. And x Money G extending his lead now with the rest of his curves out of the hairpin. So maybe he's going to try and push to make that second gap. But it being such a short lap... It's really hard to pull out of DRS. And looking quite here, you can see Fizzy, Fizzy Fan was there as they went across the line. He was out of DRS range. It was 1.1 seconds. And again, he's out of DRS range. I mean, he doesn't have it. The man who does is Noble right behind him because he's there. Just eight tenths of a second back as Limitless. Once again, through the parabolica towards the hairpin, using that DRS and giving Matty G a face full of smoke once more. And just Matty G spots the apex nicely and again gets on the pad using all of that curse back up through the gears once more this is back in the pack with Crookie fighting with Big Shot player up towards the hairpin taking him with DRS in for 7 and the under brakes once again the Salvas again still running pretty well Crookie's going to get himself a decent haul of points is Big Shot look at that trying to come back side by side exiting the hairpin and there's a bit of contact there Scott been. into the hairpin it made Crookie run really wide but um, Crookie's managed to maintain 7th place I think he'd be a bit disappointed with seventh, to be fair, because Crookie has got pace. I mean, he's shown pace throughout the three games, and he's not shown really, you know, his full potential. He's a minus one fuel as well, so he's going to struggle to keep Big Shot behind. But um, what's going to be really interesting is what what because DRS is so powerful. 
What is Limitless X Money G and Fizzy if he can get back into DRS thinking coming the last few laps? Do you want to be leading going into the last lap or do you want to be in second? It's going to be a tricky decision. Well, for DRS range, you want to be in second because, of course, that means you'll get the DRS down. Effectively, it's the last DRS so that you'll get in the race. And, of course, whoever's in second is going to get that advantage. So, really, second's probably a better opportunity. But then again, if you're first, you've got, to, you've got the task of trying to defend. And, of course, it's going to be pretty tricky coming down the straight as we've seen all the race long so far. Trying to defend from a car that's on DRS at maximum speed. It's not Just an easy task. Out, sorry, Scott, is that you, you know you were saying about Noble's fuel. He's on minus one. It just showed on this screen there. So he is in no better situation than x G Limitless or Fizzy Fan. So this is one hell of a dogfight. It is a, a le level playing field in one sense because Fizz um, Noble, who's got slightly worn options, so it won't it won't give him the performance advantage that he it would have at the start of the stint. But um, yeah, he's, he's, he must have been pushing that fuel to get on the back of Fizzy. So it's going to be interesting to see how the championship leader does. Replay of Big Shot trying to get past Crookie at the hairpin. And... He stays on the outside, and Big Shot didn't want to let that one go at all, so he's kept in the seventh place. He's down towards the Mercedes Arena once again, and back on the brakes, and Crookie just holds on. Some great battles going down through the field between these two. And uh, of course, Randy McSwanny, we, we said about he's off the pace. Randy's up there in sixth place and pretty far up the road, so that is quite disappointing to see that. And Randy's not too far away from Ricky C. You can see it in the bottom left on the map, so. Those two having a bit of a scrap for the final top five players. I'm pretty sure at the moment Ricky's got it. As we're back again with the leaders. And Limitless once again sailing past. And that's crucial. Noble going past Busy Fan on the straight. He was close enough this time with DRS. So Noble back into third place on those option tyres. Busy down to the four. And Busy is on rich fuel mixture, but he's on optimal fuel as well. So that's going to be pretty key. Every one of these top four is really low for fuel. But at this rate, they're racing quite like they don't have a care in the world. Sorry, I just had an interruption on my uh, camera. But anyway, a, a, just a big shot's gone up the inside of oh, Crookie into the hairpin. But I was just going to point out, it's, it's going to be really interesting to see how Noble can get within DRS of his teammate, x Manny G, because that is going to be crucial. If he wants to win this race, he needs to get in DRS because he has got no fuel to spare. He cannot be using fast fuel mixture. And I'm, look, it's Ricky C has lost connection. Unbelievable scenes here. I'm, oh, I can't believe that. What bad luck for Ricky C who's dropped out from 5th place and he is going to be very disappointed with that as Noble sets the fastest lap of a 15.6 he is pushing, oh, that is definitely not half a second there's a little bit of lag I think going on there, I don't think that's half a second you Scott? No, it looks a bit more than that, as, uh, but it's a great lap for Noble again and, and these guys really do not care that they're on minus 1 fuel uh, Fizzy Man, look at that, minus 1 fuel, he's already on rich fuel mixture back to standard for a while though, so he's going to try, he's very marginal these guys trying to balance that's between running out and just being on fumes at the end. So, what? Watch the anticipation. Busy fan just breaks a little too late and runs a little wide, misses the apex completely into the hairpin. And again, Matty again with that face full of smoke, back to the inside towards the Mercedes corner, side by side again. He loves to pass down here. He's done it once again. So Matty back into the lead. We're now on that 31 or 34. When we finish this lap, we'll be into the final three laps. It is first, second, third, and fourth all together. And Noble is on lean fuel mix. He's trying to save as much as he can, but still with that option tyre advantage, trying to push on. And he is now within just about DRS range, getting close. So maybe, maybe he might try and move up towards the hairpin. We'll have to wait and see as they exit the final couple of the corners. And we are set for a grandstand finish. I think someone needs to hide the checkered flag. We've got a proper race in our hands right now. I can't call this one, Scott. It is so close. You've got Noble on the option tyres, who you would favour at this point in the race, but he's got minus one lap of fuel and he's using rich fuel mixture, so he is going to be struggling on the last lap of the race. And then you've got x G who has not won a race this season, and you've got Limitless, who hasn't won a race at all in the ARL F1 League. And then you've got Fizzy, who's the comeback king in fourth place, just a tiny bit behind first place, but he's got DRS somehow. So these four all want to win so much. I think Noble's had enough victories this season, so it would be nice to see someone else win. As x G locks up a little bit, Limitless back up into first place, but x G gets to run out of the hairpin and back up into first place. He wants this victory, Scott, and uh, I don't blame him. Now it's Noble's turn to get a face for the smoke from TL Limitless. Now he's Limitless' teammate, Crookie, on Lee Mix 1. Soon as he gets past Big Shot, Big Shot's not giving up, though, later on the brakes, and just tucks in behind it. Is he going to try and get... An advantage out of the hairpin just behind there's another car behind. i can't quite see who that is but I think quite, possibly, quite possibly but getting very defensive is crooked down towards the mercedes corner and trying to turn in oh big shot 
just too opportunistic, pushes Crookie into the gravel, and that was so easy for the Constance, took, the, took advantage of that mistake. He's back past both cars, and that's into sixth for the Ferrari driver, and that was, I'm sorry, I'm going to call it, that was Big Shot being way too opportunistic, way too over enthusiastic. Okay. We might have a bit of a disagreement here, Scott. I hope we can get a replay of that so we can discuss that further. But anyway, we'll come back to that in a minute. As Fizzy Fan is well on the back of Noble now. What impressive stuff, considering he's been saving fuel. So Fizzy is well and truly in the fight for at least a podium position here. As we've lost connection to Big Shot, who is not happy with that incident. But we, uh, we'll maybe discuss that if we see another replay. As it is now lap 33 of 34. Limitless going up the inside the of X-Man G into the hairpin. So he is taking the lead of this Grand Prix. And he's going to try and keep x G behind for the last lap of the race. This is going to be interesting as Noble fallen a little bit behind because he is on minus one lap of fuel and Fizzy wanting that podium position so badly and how good would he feel if he got in front of Noble on the last lap of the race? We'll find out in very shortly indeed and I've just been told that there's no replay of the incident but I'm, if, if you guys have a look at it back, I think Crookie turned into him to be honest. I think they were side by side and um, Crookie was very, very just didn't even think of Big Shot being there and just turned in but I think we might have to um, beg to differ with this one <laughs> quite possibly but anyway but we it, won't then. see another one this is it the final lap this, this is where it's all going to be decided first second third and fourth you can almost throw a blanket over into turn one and busy fan is chasing off a noble as is Matty and Limitless and this is and crucial stop, stop, I'm sorry x G has lost Kurz he has that is true it's a no curse for Matty G he's going to have DRS and this is crucial. This is the place we said he wanted to be. He's got the RS down towards the hairpin for the last time. And this is going to be key. He's going to make a pass here. Limitless getting very defensive on the inside, going right to the edge of the track. Side by side down towards the hairpin. Matty trying to go around the outside. He got the grip. I think he has. Yes. Brilliant pass from Matty G around the outside of the hairpin. And that was key to take the lead. He's on rich fuel mixture. This is going to be absolutely photo finished down towards the line. So x G up into first place despite having no curse. I bet he could not believe his luck when he saw no curse, but he is in first place. Limitless right behind x G with Noble. Nowhere. He is not challenging for first or second. He cannot. He has not got enough fuel. And Fizzy, who is, is between minus one and optimal, is so close for this final few corners of the Hockenheim Grand Prix. And Limitless is right on the back of x G. Is he going to have a look into the last few corners? No, x G coming round the final corner now. He is going to take his first victory this season and it's going to mean a lot to him. He comes over the line and wins and Noble's run out of fuel. And oh, what an amazing finish that was. And let's take a replay of this, Scott. Let's look at it again. So we saw back down towards the hairpin and this is Matty with that, what can you say, wonderful outside pass. Limitless tried to defend it, but he couldn't hold him off for that much longer. This is Matty coming across the line. Switched it into Rich Fuel Mix 3 to just guarantee it. And this is here, this is Noble, and he literally ran out of fuel just as he came onto the straight. And how close do you want it? How unlucky was Fizzy Fan? He was spluttering as well, but just came up alongside him and just missed out on a podium. He would have so deserved that, but still, it is great. And it's a Toro Rosson on the top step. For once, it's not Noble, it's x Manny G, and he looks pretty pleased with that one. It's going to mean a lot to him. Noble's won every race this season, so it's nice to see someone else on the top step for a change, but he only took it by one tenth. x Money G takes the victory from TRL Limitless in second place. Noble 2909 in third place. Still on the podium, though. Only 1.1 seconds back. Fizzy fan. What a brilliant drive from him in fourth. Almost getting on the podium with Randy Miscrandi 10.6 seconds back in fifth. The Continents, after that first lap incident with x Money G, finishing in sixth with Crookie in seventh, despite that huge impact with Big Shot. IproX Callum finishing in 8th with Trace Me 92 in 9th who had a, a, a car glitch where he couldn't top out there Scott. But anyway 10th, 11th, 12th and all the way down to 16th either didn't finish disconnected or got disqualified as Big Shot as you can see there in 13th but um, yeah Trace had a glitch where he could not reach top speed so he did pretty well considering he had about a 15 mile an hour disadvantage. Well he got himself a couple of points which is something to salvage but I'm pretty sure he wanted more from this afternoon's race and uh, that's pretty disappointing, but it's still two points, that will help. Drivers' Championship then, and Noble 2909 holds on with 215 points. The gap is now 101 points between himself and Tierra Limitless. And look at the gap between Matty G and Limitless now. Thanks to Matty G's win, he's now just three points away from second place. He's jumped up two spots from fifth to third. Randy's down to fourth, and he's 11 points ahead of Ricky C. And look at the rest of the field. Busy fans up to ninth after that fourth place. Mace is down to 10th, and the rest of the field there struggling with points. Ricky got some points too after that uh, 
disastrous hit earlier on. But pretty close to the championship, at least down the bottom end of that team. Yeah, it was a brilliant race though, wasn't it, Scott? I mean, my driver of the day has to go for Fizzy Fan 91 What an excellent drive from him. He was the Absolutely. underdog of those four. He finished fourth, but what a brilliant drive. He stayed with them the entire race, just didn't have that bit of fuel to finish Noble off at the end. But the Toro Rosso's, as you can see there, almost 200 points ahead of McLaren. 284? Jeez, that is... No, 200, 184, sorry. That is a huge margin. I, I don't even know what superlative I wanted to use there. But anyway, <laughs> the next race is the Hungarian Grand Prix. It's round 10. Thank you very much, Scott, for joining me. Not a problem. Hopefully, who knows if I might be back for the next one, but if not, it's been a pleasure to commentate on these two races. If so, I'll see you guys in Hungary. Cheers for watching, and uh, yeah, fantastic race, and I couldn't agree more. Busy fans driver of the day, and uh, absolutely fantastic spectacle for this race. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I've been Matthew Gallagher, and we'll see you next week for the Hungarian Grand Prix. Bye-bye.